Hi, welcome to Children's Time. The last few weeks we have been looking at the final words of Jesus. And last Sunday we talked about how Jesus forgave the criminal that was next to him on the cross. And this week we will look and see how Jesus makes us a family. While Jesus was on the cross and preparing to die, he saw his mother Mary. His earthly father Joseph had already passed away and it was Jesus' responsibility as the oldest son to take care of his mother. And so he did something very unique. He said to Mary that his friend John would be her son and told John that Mary was his mother. This is special for a couple of reasons. Back in Jesus' time, widowed women who didn't have someone to take care of them often became homeless and hungry because they were not allowed to own property or have anything that they could use to help them. So Jesus, in trusting one of his closest friends in a final act of devotion to his mother, to entrust that care to one of his closest friends, he knew that John would provide and protect her in his absence. And the second is now that Mary and John were joined together by Jesus as a family, we too are part of that new community. We are united in our belief in God through Jesus, making us all one family. So when we hear people say, my church family, that's what they mean. They are part of a group of people who believe in God and look after one another with love and concern. Just like John looked after Mary. Isn't that great? I know I love being part of a church family, knowing that they love and care and look after me. And I bet you do too. Because together, we make a family. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your son Jesus, who showed us how to love and care for one another. And may we take that care with each other and we thank you for our wonderful church family. In Jesus' name, amen.